Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys, where we are going to be talking a little bit more about Xavi's summer transfer plans. He's been speaking today in his pre-match press conference ahead of Barca versus Valladolid tomorrow. And we're going to be talking about where his priorities lie. He addressed several of the rumours that we've been hearing of late. And I think very, very interesting words from Xavi today. We are also going to be having some build-up to that game late on Tuesday night there between Barca and Vied lid. It's all on the way today as the season continues to wind down, but there's no rest here, and there are big days and months that await us. So let's do it. Because indeed, guys, I did find it very, very interesting there to listen to Chavi earlier on today when he was talking about next season. He was asked basically there in his press conference, what do you feel you can do next season that's going to improve on this one? How do you take sort of that next step? And what Chavi spoke about basically was actually targeting all of the titles and not only targeting them, but feeling able to compete and actually win them all, all of them together. And then he spoke about transfers, you know, bringing players is in let's see what we can do this summer to be able to achieve that and I think right now looking at what Xavi has what he needs is quality depth because what we have lacked at several key moments and I mean big moments of the season just past is that quality in your depth if you have injuries you need players that can come in I think this season so far we've had good moments we've had peaks we've shown a really high level but in order to sustain that and actually show that across all of the competitions you need a full squad that can tackle that head on that can get you through injuries, get you through suspensions, no matter what. What was interesting then, though, from Xavi is that he was asked specifically about the right back position. Now, that's a position that I feel personally we definitely do need to strengthen this summer. But Xavi was asked, is that a priority? Is that position there one of your most important areas to address heading into the summer? But Xavi didn't seem as though that was all that high on his list. He said that's not our number one priority right now. He said that the priority is the Busi position. He said it's logical, there's no debate that after Busquets' exit, he said we need a defensive pivot and a very high level one. He said we need that for next season. That's our reality when an important player for me is leaving the club, our captain, and a player that can make a big difference. We must find a replacement. And I thought those words there from Xavi, they were strong words. They were really powerful words, actually, to say, you know what? We don't only need a pivot. We need a high quality one. If I'm losing Busquets and we know how highly Xavi rates Busquets and how important he was in his team, Xavi is making it clear here to the board, we must replace him. And I think that's interesting because that for me there is where we're starting to see, in my opinion, a slight different view between Xavi and the board. Because I think from the board, they're looking right now at Sofi and Amrabat. They're thinking, OK, that would be a good deal economically for the club. It would be a relatively low cost option. He could come in and make some impact in this team. But I think when you're looking at Xavi, when you're looking at words like he's used today, he wants more than that. I think Xavi is looking there at a more expensive option. I think Zuby Mendy is somebody who he really, really does rate highly. And Xavi, I feel, would go and pay that 60 million release clause. But if that's the route that we're going down, I still feel as though the board need more convincing. And that is exactly what Xavi is trying to do right now to really emphasise we need a high high quality Busquets replacement and he's basically saying I cannot do without that and it was quite convenient then actually one of the first questions after that answer from Chaffee was all about that pivot position Chaffee was asked you know you've spoken recently about Zuby Mendy Chaffee spoke about him before the game at the weekend against Real Sociedad but the journalist said can I ask your opinion on Kimmich we've heard a lot of rumours what are your thoughts on him as a player but Chaffee said first of all well the sporting director of Real Sociedad was very angry with me after I spoke about Zuby Mendy before that game at the weekend. He said, I didn't mean any disrespect by that. I didn't want to destabilise their team or anything like that. I didn't mean that. So then Chaffee said, on Kimmich, all I can say really is that he is a spectacular player in his position. And he said, there's not much more that I can say. So Chaffee there didn't really want to be dragged into that one. He didn't want to anger Bayern Munich too, I'm sure. But quite clearly, those are the kind of profiles right now. Zuby Mendy, Kimmich, those are the kind of profiles I feel Chaffee's a lot more drawn to. But they are the more expensive ones, which is why the board might need some convincing. Which brings us on to the topic of Lionel Messi. And I thought 
thought the question actually was quite interesting there from the journalist. It wasn't only about whether Messi would return, but actually the feeling that surrounds it. The journalist said there, there are some Barcelona fans who are thinking, my heart is saying yes to Messi's return, but my head is saying no. And the journalist said, what would be your answer to some of those fans? And Xavi didn't really address that question directly, but he said, everything right now with Messi is up in the air. He said, it depends on a lot of different things right now. He said, I can't again really say too much else. But he said, okay, as a footballer, he's a spectacular player. That's all I can say. And as a person, he is somebody I consider a good friend. He said, we're going to wait and see if we can make it happen. But it also depends on Leo too. So Chavi right now, in the dark, it seems on Messi. We're still waiting all of the time for La Liga, for their approval, for all of this kind of stuff. But Messi to Barca is still very much a real option. We just haven't progressed any further as of now before speaking about forwards indeed. Chavi then was asked a question question about Ansu Fati. Do you trust in him 100%? Do you count on him 100% ahead of next season? That was the question there posed to Chaffee and his answer, it wasn't really convincing, I've got to say. All he said there was, nothing has been decided for any player. He said, we are still in the process of planning right now. He said, the only thing that we know for sure, for certain, is that Busquets won't continue. That's all we know. From there, we are waiting now on the fair play situation. So on Ansu there, certainly Chavi wasn't guaranteeing anything. He wasn't saying there that he had 100% faith in him ahead of next season. Again, things are still being decided. And I think 100% Ansu Fati's name is on the table to leave the club this summer. It is an option that the club are continuing to look into before then indeed. Let's talk about this upcoming game on Tuesday night. It is a late kickoff there, 10pm local time away at Real Valladolid for Barca. Obviously there's nothing technically riding on the game in terms of the title is all wrapped up, but I am interested to see a few of the performances from the Barca players. We're looking right now at the league table. Barca stand 13 points clear of Atletico Madrid now in second place in the league. That comes after Real Madrid's defeat against Valencia yesterday and the really shameful and upsetting scenes that we saw at Mestalla on Sunday. Of course, none of us are condoning that. But when you are looking at the squad list ahead of this game for Barca, there is still no Pedri or Araujo. They remain absent from the squad, still recovering from a few knocks that they've had and mainly being rested, given it's the end of the season here. Also now added to that, there is no Jules Koundé. Xavi saying earlier on, it's nothing serious, but he has played a lot of football, a lot of games, so he's not going to be involved either. Gavi will be back though in the team it's believed and what I want to see guys is more of Pablo Torre I spoke about it after the game on Saturday I thought he came on and played really well it was a cameo there that he had only a few minutes of play I was disappointed then that he didn't get more and this time around he has to get more in my opinion Chavi said earlier on today Pablo Torre for sure will get more minutes but now we've got to see that because this young man, he has talent, he has quality. We haven't seen too much of him this season. We all know about that, but he is still young. There is time on his side and we have to make sure that he's developing in the right way. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with him next season, of course. Will he stay at the club? Will he play more of a part? Or will he go out on loan to a La Liga team to get some experience and get some first team football at the highest level? We're going to have to wait and see. But certainly his performance is now. When he gets that chance in these final games of the season, it's going to decide a lot and these are very very big minutes for Pablo Torre and like I say he did well when he was given the chance on Saturday so let's see how he does this time around but I think in general guys what I am really looking for on Tuesday from Barca it's just a bit more fight a bit more hunger you know I know the season is over I know that we've won the league everything is all wrapped up and I can understand the players now thinking okay there's not much on the line but let's just try and keep that intensity here let's try and finish the season in a good way we're still fighting for a few records let's try not to concede any goals Ter Stegen is fighting for the clean sheet record that I would absolutely love him to get. So let's just keep going here. Let's finish the season on a high and then excitedly look ahead to next season when it seems like a lot is going to happen with this Barca team. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below there, guys. What did you make of Chavi's words today, especially looking at that midfield position, the pivot? What do you feel is Chavi's preference and what do you think will end up happening there from the board in terms of who they can bring in? Let me know all of those thoughts down below. Lots will be coming up in these days to come. I'm expecting them to be very, very busy indeed, and I'm looking forward to sharing it all with you guys. Thank you for tuning in today, and for all of your support. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Barca! Oh.